going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we got a mlb the show 21 xp glitch that's gonna help you finish the fourth inning program very very fast now yesterday i gave y'all a method and today is going to be a little better method but it's going to be more boring but if you're new to the channel drop a like on the video don't be a hater your whole life hit that red subscribe button and shout out to the mvps if you see an mvp in the comment section anywhere make sure that you like each other's comments because mvps make this channel grow let's get into today's xp method let's get into today's banger AHMLB is having a crazy sale, 20% off, plus if you use cold fat, another 5% and finish collection. So the first and most important step that you need to use this method is two controllers. It don't matter how you do it, but you got to have two controllers, okay? So then you're going to go to settings. You're going to set your settings all up. So what you want to do is you want to put your hitting and your pitching on legend that's gonna give you the most XP okay the harder the level the more XP it might not be a big boost but an extra 150 to 250 XP is gonna help your overall total once you get that set up you want to come to presentation you want to have fast play on you want to have better walk up off okay so this is very important you don't want to see all the extra cutscenes. you want to limit it be able to walk the guy get the runs and get your XP and get out. You're gonna go down to exhibition. Instead of you going to Road to Show or Diamond Dynasty, you just wanna push down and get down here to exhibition. Now, exhibition, player one, you wanna put that on this side over here. Now, player two, you wanna put that on the right side, okay? So it don't matter what team that you pick because you're gonna be walking the other team. Any changes that you make to the other controller is gonna affect the amount of XP that you get. So that's something that you need to remember. So if you go into settings, if you push pause, if you go into settings, so anything that you do with this other controller is gonna make a pop-up come at the end of it and it's gonna say you did changes or such and such, make sure that you always push player one. Now, if your XP isn't registering, the fastest way to get your XP to work, don't freak out. All you gotta do is shut your console down and we're gonna push pause right now. You come right here and just shut your console down all the way off. Go get a glass of water. That's gonna take you two to three minutes. I'm being for real. Go get you a glass of water, come back, boot the console back up, and then play a moment. Go back in the fourth inning program and you should see your XP start to accumulate. So what you wanna do is you wanna push L, B, and B. You wanna go to this, and then you just wanna walk the guy. You wanna walk to 90 runs and then you can restart as long as the servers are working you can restart every 90 or 92 runs you will get about 61 to 6200 xp you can stack it you can do a 90 runs again that's going to take you about nine or ten minutes so in 30 minutes you will have almost 30,000 xp now if you want to go a little higher for 260 to 265 runs i wouldn't go no higher than that it's a chance that your server connection can lose if you play more than 25 to 30 minutes at a time okay so that's just something to keep in the back of your head always do it for 260 to 265 max it don't matter if you get it to go through for 300 you are taking a chance of wasting hours and hours and hours do it up to 90 runs back out restart let that 90 runs accumulate that'd be 6100 or 6200 6100 6200 do it two to three times that's going to get you 12,000 and a half to 18 or 19,000 XP. Shut your console down. 19,000 XP in about 9, 18, about 24 minutes. Do it all over again. Another 25 minutes. That'd be about 40 plus thousand XP in an hour. Less than an hour. All right, so we had 86 runs. The way that I make it faster is I'm just holding down the left button you can put a rubber band on it or you can get a controller like i got another controller where this button is already broke so it's automatically pushed down then all you have to do is push b and then accept by pushing yes now once you get the 86 runs i try to throw a pitch down the middle and you're going to try to bunt it and then control the other guy so he don't catch it so you're going to control it and then you're going to push the other controller and advance everybody home that's going to get you up to the 90 runs with a simple bunt so you're going to stay there you can push the uh throw button just to make sure so all my runs comes in that's 90 runs right there plus i got an extra hit boost with rbis so i got a hit boost with rbis i'm at 90 runs so now all i want to do is just strike out the side and also another thing that i was doing is 
It's on legend difficulty, so hitting is gonna be hard with two controllers unless you on classic interface. So we're gonna throw strikes down there, we're gonna get out this inning, and we want that XP to jump at the top left at the end of the inning, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, and that's gonna let you know that everything that you did worked. So we need one more strike right here, and then we're gonna be out of the inning, and we're gonna watch to see if the servers are up. There's a strike right there, and we should see 4,269 XP at the top left so 4,269 XP for that inning. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna come right here and now you're gonna strike out this side. So now that you've seen your XP register in the top left corner, you just wanna come right here, strike the side out, and then you can exit out of the game. Like I said, if you got it on classic, it'll be way faster. I'm stuck on pinpoint because I didn't make the adjustment at the beginning of the game, but you wanna do it at the beginning of the game. But so we just need one more strikeout right here, real easy. About a little over nine minutes total on the timer to be able to do this whole thing. And then if you wanna strike out the side, it's gonna put you up another minute that you're gonna be losing. So if you wanna to get to about 18 to 20,000 XP, you can do that real fast in under 24 minutes. You can get about 40 to 42,000 XP every single hour. So we're gonna get that extra 246 right there. And then we're just gonna exit out of the game. Now you can go right here and confirm restart and that'll make your XP stack, but I'm just gonna go to exit right here. Now, if you don't get your XP right away, like I said, shut it down, take a break, go get a glass of water. That's gonna give you two to three minutes for the servers to kick back in. Once you load the game back in, go play a moment. So right there, in only 90 runs, I got 6,367 XP total, plus I got a free three stubs, okay? So if you don't see it, go into your fourth inning program, which you shouldn't even be worried about right now. You can just turn the game off, Go get a glass of water. You've been sitting for nine and a half to 10 minutes. Get a glass of water, come back, boot the council back up, and then jump in and play a moment. Make sure that you always watch the fourth inning program before you start and then afterwards so you can know if it's tracking or not, okay? So if we exit out, we got that extra 6,300 XP. So I could have stacked it and I could have got 12,000 XP with one more inning like that, 180 runs. In less than an hour, you will be getting 40,000 to 42,000 XP, the best XP glitch in the game. But you can see, that right there put me at another achievement in the fourth inning program. Go ahead and grind this out, an hour and a half to two hours at a time, then take a break, two to three hours, come back, just play the game, and then get back and grind that. You should be grinding that probably three to four times out of a day, that will put you up an extra 60 to 80,000 XP every single day. It'll put you closer to the 350,000 that you need, if y'all didn't drop a like on the video, what is you hating for? Drop a like right now. Hit that red subscribe button. Shout out to the MVPs. If you rocking with me, I got y'all. Let's go.